let us see how to identify a thoracic vertebra it can be identified by the costal facets seen on its body there are 12 thoracic vertebrae classified as typical and atypical second to eighth thoracic vertebra are typical while first ninth tenth eleventh and twelfth thoracic vertebrae are atypical now looking into the features of a typical thoracic vertebra it shows costal demi facets which are present by side of the body and articular facet on the front of transverse processes body is heart shaped vertebral foramen is circular spinous process is long pointed and directed downwards pedicle is attached to the upper part of the body making its inferior notch deeper the body of thoracic vertebra on each side body is characterized by presence of two costal demi facets for the articulation with the head of ribs they are superior and inferior costal facets superior costal facet is larger and situated on upper border of the body near pedicle it articulates with numer numerically corresponding rib inferior costal facet is smaller near the lower border anterior surface provides attachment to the anterior longitudinal ligament and posterior longitudinal ligament is attached to the posterior surface now the vertebral arch the pedicles are directed backwards the lamina deep muscles of back is attached on its posterior surface and ligamentum flava is attached on its upper border the superior articular process these are flat surfaces located on its superior aspect at junction of pedicle and lamina they are directed backwards and slightly laterally inferior articular processes these are flat and directing forwards they are fused with the lateral ends of the lamina transverse process it is projecting backwards and laterally from the junction of pedicles and lamina between the superior and inferior articular processes a articular facet is observed on its anterior surface near the tip for articulation with the tubercle of numerically corresponding rib the spine it is long pointing downwards provides attachment to trapezius latissimus dorsi rhomboides major and minor and deep muscles of back 